Hey friends, this is the Ampeak 2000 watt inverter. On today's video, we're going to be setting it up. I'm gonna show you how to connect it to a battery. We're gonna do some tests to see how it works and give a quick demo and review. Let's jump into it. So I want to show you everything that is included with the Ampeak 2000. And basically we have the main inverter here. You can see we have a couple of terminal connectors, which is really nice. We'll show you how to connect that here in a minute. We have the main unit that has the outlets on this side. You can see we have these nice mounting brackets as well. So this can be mounted like on the wall. And then we also have a couple of cables that are included, which is really nice, both the positive and the negative cables. A short little length, again, you wanna keep these as thick of wire and as short as possible for really good connectivity. And then we also have a size 14 wrench that was included, which makes this really nice. And those can be used for the bolts that are in these covers. So in order to attach the wires to the inverter, we're actually gonna take this little nut out of the side and that is going to allow us to take off the cover. And then we can see that we have our little nut that's underneath here. It's on there tight, and so we'll take our wrench. Once you've given that a couple of turns, it gets nice and loose and you're able to come in here and actually remove the whole thing with your fingers. We're then gonna take our red or positive cable and they make, again, this is fairly easy. It's gonna lie flat once we put that nut back on. And that is exactly what I'm gonna do. I'm just gonna take this and this time we'll turn clockwise. We'll grab that wrench and just get it cinched down and nicely into place. Now the other end is gonna be placed on to the battery terminal and then we'll have a nice positive connection. Now we need to wire the negative up in the exact same way. Now don't forget when you're done to put the plastic sleeves back into place and put those little nuts back on. All right, everything should look like this when we are done. Again, these cables are really solid. It definitely feels like Decent quality stuff. So we're now ready to connect the other ends to our battery so that we can get power from our DC source into the inverter so we can transform it into AC power. Now, one of the things I will say that I've noticed, and again, I'm not an electrician or a solar expert, but I have noticed that a lot of people will put a fuse over here on the positive end between the battery and the inverter to protect against power surges. Okay, for our test, we've hooked these thick wires up to our 12 volt battery. You can see we've got a really big one. This is a 12.8 volt battery and it's gonna work good for our test. It's gonna give us enough energy. Now there's no solar obviously coming into this, so we will need to refill the power on our permanent system. But again, this is just our nice basic connection so that we can turn all of this DC power into AC available power. Now we're also gonna be using this Eden Pure Heater. Now this thing is a really big room heater. It's gonna require a lot of wattage to power. So it should offer us a good test. I don't think we're gonna push the 2000 watts, but it will give us a nice good load to test out this specific inverter. Now to turn this on, you can see we've got three outlets down here to use. So we'll hit that, we'll hold it for just a second there. And as you can see, we start to get some numbers. And so already we're showing that we have 13 volts. It was like 13.1 volts that were coming through. You can see the output right now in watts is zero. And then the output here in kilowatts is something else we can see. So, okay, let's go ahead and plug our heater in. I've got my little AC plug right here. We'll just stick it in the middle outlet here. And you probably heard that the Eden Pure immediately received power. You can see we've got a little light on the power button. I'm gonna hit it down here. It's gonna immediately fire up. You can hear this thing working. Look, we've got 1.5 kilowatts coming through. This takes just a minute for the coils to get nice and warm before it starts kicking on, the fan starts pushing out heat, but it's already working. And this seems to be able to handle that load. Look, you can see it's alternating right around that 1.46, 1.5 mark. We're now showing 12 volts coming out. And again, there goes the heater fans. I have it on full blast. I'm feeling that nice heat coming out. So again, this is working, it's working great. This seems to be able to handle things just fine. Hopefully that test helps friends. Again, you can find this right here on Amazon. Stay tuned, we're actually gonna be making a ton more of these style videos. We're putting together a whole solar system for off-grid cabin. You guys are getting a glimpse into the basic setup. And again, we'll do a whole full video out there at the cabin coming up soon. Thanks for watching, friends. Subscribe, and we will see you again on the next one.